everyone so today I'm going to be doing a March favorites video um, I know I have not been doing these recently I know I actually haven't been making videos very often but um, now that I have some more time in my schedule I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna start making videos more often so let's get into it so first let's start with makeup my first makeup favorite of the month is this Stila palette and it's an oldie but a goodie it's the in the light palette and it comes with 10 different shades and this eyeliner. It's a matte brown eyeliner. It's in the shade Damsel. And each of these... Sh I'm going to take this out. <laughs> um, this is the liner. It's a great liner. It's very creamy and it stays on my waterline pretty well. And I think I'm actually considering buying the black one. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. Um, these are the shades here. Um, I'm not going to list them off to you. But uh, it has the best-selling shade from Stila, and this is Kitten. And also, this color here is my favorite, I think, in the palette, as you can tell. Um, it is a great blending color, and it's actually in my crease along with this shade here. Um, it creates a lot of dimension, and it's a great transition shade. Um, this palette's great also because it has a matte black, and it's a very pigmented matte black, so very happy about that and it's great for setting liner because I do not use black shadow that often so when I do it's only for setting and it works perfectly for that. So moving on, I also have a Stila eyeshadow, a single eyeshadow. This is in the shade Grace and I'm going to swatch that for you. It's just a muted gray. And okay, let's try that again. So, <laughs> this is Grace, a single eyeshadow from Stila and we're going to re-swatch because that was a terrible swatch. And this is what it looks like. It's a very, uh, I don't know if you can really tell in this lighting. My lighting is terrible. I'm working on fixing that. Um, if you have any suggestions, because I'm not trying, I have no money to buy a light, like, thing right now. So if you have any suggestions as to what I could do, I mean, I only have this one window that I can really film in, so, um... We'll see. But this is what Grace swatches as. It's a very uh, light gray shade and it looks great when it's all over the lid. And sometimes I'll take it a little bit into the crease, but because I'm in college right now, it's very easy for me to just slap it on my lid and kind of blend it up, throw on some mascara, and walk out the door. So I'm pretty happy with it. It's been my go-to eyeshadow recently. This idea. So my favorite mascara that I've been using is this Bobbi Brown Smoky smoky eye mascara in black. Um, I received this as a sample, obviously by a small tube, um, from Sephora. And at first I didn't really like it. I thought it was really dry and it was not going on my lashes the way I thought it would. Um, but the more I worked with it, the more I actually really, really liked it. And I, as you can tell, like very thick, um, defined lashes. And this gave me a very, um, good effect. It was exactly what I wanted. So I think I'm actually going to be purchasing the full size tube when I have the funds for it. Um, and what goes with that is this wand, which is ridiculous. Um, this was from a Lash Domination by Bare Minerals um, sample tube, and I just washed it off because I read, I think it was Allison Loves JB. She's like my favorite YouTuber of all time. I love her style. I just, I love everything about her. Uh, she is the one who inspired me to come on here. But basically, I take this mascara wand and right after I curl my lashes with no, no product on this wand or I haven't applied mascara yet, I'll actually comb out my lashes and it'll separate them and then when I put on mascara it goes on a lot more smooth and it helps me avoid clumps. I've also been loving this uh, BB cream. This is from Estee Lauder. It is in Intensity 2.0. Um, it's the Double Wear All Day Glow. Um, it has SPF 30, which is really nice. Um, I've had a hard time with Estee Lauder makeup in the past because something crazy is going on outside of my apartment. I don't know. Um, but <laughs> it is fantastic. I've had a hard time with Estee Lauder makeup and even though I ask, um, whatever counter I've been going to, they have been giving me products that I wouldn't necessarily use. I'll use them a few times and it's not what I'm looking for and they got it spot on with this because it is just like a foundation. It's very thick. It's I wouldn't say it's full coverage but it's like 
I don't know. It's a good coverage. I mean, I can put a dot here, a dot here, a dot on my forehead, and it'll do the job. It'll cover my whole face and um, with, you know, minimal, minimal issues peeking through. So that's really nice. And it doesn't have, I wouldn't say it has a dewy finish, which I don't usually, I don't usually like dewy finishes. I usually like more matte face. Um, I set my entire face with powder after I'm done. Um, I have very oily skin, so I feel like I have to do that. So otherwise I feel like an oil slick and then a disco ball by the end of the day. So, um, this is great because I think it's, I would classify it as a semi-matte because it's not totally, you know, <sighs> I've been loving these wet and wild lipsticks. This is Sugar Plum Fairy and I bought this because I don't have any dark lipstick and I've been trying to get more into lipstick recently, so... I bought that one and this is what it looks like so it's very purple very purple and when it goes on the lips it's like a fuchsia purple which those don't really go together but I mean my nails are red and this is purple so it's very bright um, but the more I layer it the darker it is so I tend to layer you know two three layers and then I'll push a uh, tissue between my lips and like press down so that'll take off the excess and it'll also kind of push it into my lips a little so it's not sliding around my face um, and this is the shade Mochalicious um, and this is a very brown color um, when I bought this I did not think it was going to be so brown this is it here Mochalicious Sugar Plum Fairy um, I did not think it was going to be as brown as it is but uh, I'm okay with it and when I want to change the color I can just layer something on top. They last a very long time and they're only three dollars so you should go buy some. Uh, my next makeup favorite is also lipsticks. It is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream which has been getting a lot of attention um, and I only have three shades. I've been trying so hard to get my hands on Copenhagen um, which is a deep, deep red, reddish, brownish, purple. It's really, really pretty and I really want it. But I have not been able to find it. The only place I found it was on Amazon for like $19 and that's not happening because it's like six in the store, if that. So um, I have three shades and these go on kind of like a lip gloss. They have this lip gloss applicator type of thing. Um, but when you apply them, uh, they go on very, very opaque. And this is in the shade Ahu Dubai, da, Dabi, Ahu Dabi, I don't know. <laughs> but this is really pretty, and they all have different shade, uh, different names of cities. Each sh shade, or yeah, each shade is a different city. Um, this is what I have on my lips right now. This is San Paulo. Um, it's a really pretty pink. Um, and the shade, this is San Paulo here. And well it's on my lips too. Um, and this is the shade Monte Carlo which is a red but there is also a, this is not a true red, I find that this swatches um, like a very very hot pink um, and it's not very opaque so when you uh, compare it to a true red such as I have um, MAC Ruby Woo and Ruby Woo is much more red than this shade is so that's it there. Um, and these are great. They go on and they, it takes a few minutes for them to dry, but once they dry, they're this fantastic, like, matte finish. It's not so matte that it cracks your lips, but it's still matte enough that, that it's, it's matte. <laughs> so I've been looking for a way to buy makeup brushes that was cheaper, so I resorted to Amazon, which a lot of people would give me grief about, but I think I did fairly well. So this is, it comes in this little leather, faux leather case. Um, it was, I think it cost about $15. Um, this is Pu-een, P-U-E-E-N. Um, they're really cute. They're, they're, there was one. They're all pink brushes and they have, you know, red tops with the exception of this stippling brush for whatever reason. It has a, has a pink top. So, it comes with this one angled brush, there's a concealer brush in there, foundation brush, stippling brush. Um, this crease brush is actually not too bad. Uh, a lip brush and some more cons little tiny flat shader brushes. Another shader brush. <laughs> this angled contour 
slash blush brush. I've been using it for contour because I use my Real Techniques brush for blush and this powder brush which I use for bronzing my neck because none of my foundations match and ain't nobody got time for buying six foundations to match your colors during the year. These are my favorites out of all of them. It's the angled, a flat shader, um, contour, powder, uh, crease, and lip brush. These are all of my favorites. I think they work the best. They're very, very soft. Um, when they arrived, they had a synthetic uh, smell. They were really plasticky smelling, actually. Um, but I washed them with my baby shampoo, and now they're fine. These I did not like so much. Actually, these two brushes are fine. I just prefer to use them for foiling, so you wet the brush a little bit, and then you pack on like a metallic shadow, and it'll appear much brighter in pigment. Um, this stippling brush is very flimsy at the top, so when you're buffing it into your face, it doesn't really move anything. It just kind of creates some streaky lines, so I didn't like that very much. This concealer brush is a similar thing for, I was trying to use it under my eye, I was trying to use it around my nose, it's just too, it's too stiff and too structured for the job that it's trying to do. And for the foundation brush, I just don't like these kinds of brushes. I feel like I'm painting spackle on my face. I'd much rather use um, this brush. My here. camera died. I don't remember what I was talking about. The brushes. Um, okay, I was talking about my brushes. I prefer this because it really works the product into my skin. Uh, it gives me a very flawless finish and it, I think it helps with coverage as well. So uh, this was a no, uh, as well as the, you know that concealer brush, the other foundation brush. Focus. Uh, so this was, this was a no. But this set as a whole for what I paid for it, yes you could do a lot better, however for, you know, I got the brushes that I needed that I didn't have before and I didn't pay a lot of money for them so I'm not particularly upset about it. All of a sudden my lips have been the driest that they've ever been. Um, this was also a very harsh winter for where I am right now. Um, so, or it was a very harsh winter, it's, it's April. Um, <laughs> But this is the Vaseline uh, Cocoa Butter Lip Therapy, and I showed this in my videos very briefly. Um, I just apply this before I do my makeup. I actually use this every single day, many, many times a day, and it drives my boyfriend nuts because a lot of people do not like the feel of Vaseline on their lips, and he'll be like, hey, can I borrow your chapstick? Which, like, we're dating. It's fine. Um, he hates this and he will not use it and I think it's awesome so I'll just slap it on my lips and I'll put like a nice thick layer which sounds really gross but it absorbs very well and it stays put and it doesn't feel gross and I just I really like it so and it smells like chocolate so this was definitely a winner uh this is my Smith's uh strawberry strawberry lip balm um, this is the same as the Rosebud Salve, it's just in a strawberry scent, so, I mean, they look the same, they are the same, they're in the same tube, same company. Um, this smells so good, it smells like strawberry candy. So I use this, like, at night or when my lips feel, like, fine already. Um, this just keeps them nice and moisturized, and, I mean, it's a weird consistency because it's very gel-like, so it really glides on your lips, and then it kind of melts into them. Um, so you kind of, if, if you don't like that kind of thing, then you're going to hate this because it does that very well, it feels very wet, um, even though it's not, it feels very wet, and, um, but it absorbs, and then once you, you know, I put it on at night, and then I wake up in the morning, my lips are, like, baby soft, so I will be using this for a long, long time. I mean, I have to, because, hello. Um, two nail polishes I've been loving um this is the color stay gel envy in hold'em and i've been loving this line recently um i have two more shades i have the pink one in card shark which is a light pink and red which is C queen of hearts which i have on my nails um they stay for a very long time and i love that so my other nail pol polish favorite is just this plain black nail polish from uh, OPI and it is in Black Onyx. It's a black nail polish. It does what it does. It's good at what it does. I am currently in a very stressful schedule in terms of school. 
Um, so I've been kind of trying to find ways to deal with that and that's partially why I haven't been making videos because I've been trying to like, <laughs> you know, get, get through. Um, so I've been taking, you know, extra steps to kind of relax myself, um, like baths and weird things like that, weird girly, girly stuff. Um, so this is the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Dead Sea Minerals and it's an anti-stress mask. I don't know if this is actually, you know, anti-stress. I don't know if it does that, but it smells very good. Um, mm. <laughs> kind of slather this on. It's like a clay mask. It's very, very thick. If you can see that little nub, it's very thick and it's bright blue. So you look kind of crazy when you put it on, but it feels fantastic. You wash it off and your face is so smooth. Um, this one claims that it clears pores and smooth skin. Um, I don't know if it actually does that. Like I said, I mean, it's a very cheap mask. Um, you can buy that at Walmart as well as CVS. But I think that they do a good job for, you know, the price that they are. This is what I use in the shower recently. This is the Body Shop um, Shea Sugar Scrub. This smells like a dream. It is, this looks like, I mean, it's a scrub. Um, it smells so good. Um, the only thing about this... It has oil in it. We'll just, we'll put it that way. You can feel the oil on your hands, so... I try to do wash my face and everything in the shower before using this so that I'm not, you know, putting oil in my face that is not designed for your face. So, um, but this is so good and the granules in the in the actual product itself are not too chunky that they're like super abrasive, but they are um, fine enough to scrape off the dead skin. So this is what I use afterwards um, when I really pamper myself. This is the almond body butter from the body shop. This smells like a rainbow cookie and I love putting this on. It's so thick. It's so moisturizing. It's perfect um, for what it has to um, do. For the days that I don't um, exfoliate or don't want to do a huge you know, shower process and I just need to moisturize and be done and go on with my day, I use this. And the Vaseline ones I think came out first but I like the scent a lot so um, I've had it in the regular lotion form and I wanted to try this. Um, this is the coconut milk and orchid extract. This is the fresh hydration lotion. I mean, you just have to rub it in like once or twice. You just like go like that and it's blended in. Um, and this is perfect because it's not greasy. It absorbs super fast. So you're not like, you know, when you get out of the shower and it's cold out or your house is cold, you know, <laughs> You just shaved. Like, why do you, why are you gonna have all these pricklies when you don't have to? So, if I put this on, I have to make sure that I am warm before I put this on because um, it is so moisturizing that your legs feel kind of not like damp, but they feel very moisturized and then they get cold more easily. So, this is perfect because when I just need to like throw it on because I'm too cold, <laughs> this is perfect. So, I. Uh, think that we have come to the end of my favorites so thank you for watching and I let me know in the comments if you would like to see more videos like this or um, if you think my empties video is a good idea and I will talk to you guys soon bye